Hello everyone, I'm Chipped Tunes, and today we'll be talking about the process of writing a beach-inspired musical theme. So how do you write a beach theme? Something that sounds summery and tropical? Well, if you look at a few examples... You might notice they have a few things in common. The most prominent, steel drums. The steel drums, or steel pan as the instrument is often called, is a musical instrument originating from Trinidad and Tobago. Steel pan emerged in its modern form during the 1900s, but it has a long history going back to the talking drums tradition of West Africa, and Africans who were forcibly brought to the Caribbean as slaves used steel drums as a key part of connecting with each other and maintaining their culture. You could do a whole video on this, and also on cultural appropriation slash appreciation in Western musical traditions. But unfortunately, that's not what we're here to talk about today. I'll provide some links for further reading in the description, and I highly encourage you to check them out. Now, steel drums are pretty common in video game music. You can hear it really start to take hold in Nintendo 64 tracks such as Koopa Troopa Beach from the Mario Kart series, and in GameCube tracks like Gelato Beach from Super Mario Sunshine. While I also unfortunately don't have time to cover the whole history of sound chips in this video, the basic gist of it is that with the rise of more powerful computing in game consoles in the 90s and 2000s, game composers were able to use more accurate sounding samples and a wider range of sounds. Hence, we get to hear different kinds of instruments, like steel pan. It's even used outside the world of video game music to evoke feelings of being on the beach, like in a song called Kokomo by some indie group called the Beach Boys, which I'll only play a few seconds of so I don't get a copyright strike. But what if you, like me, wanted to make beach music that doesn't feature steel drums? What if you wanted to make music that doesn't even have real-world instruments? I actually struggled a lot finding any tropical-sounding chiptune music as references for this song, but I listened to a lot of tropical video game music in general, and I especially want to shout out this video as a chiptune example, so check that out below. It's much harder to evoke common feelings and associations without that musical shorthand that is so familiar to us these days. But that's what I did with my snowy-themed piece in January, which you can find linked right up here. So I was definitely up to the challenge. What I started with, of course, was writing it for real instruments anyway. The process here was simple. I had a piano riff that I liked, so I repeated it a bunch of times, and then built on top of that. The rhythm here was really key, even before I added the steel drums. This bouncy, syncopated, dotted eighth note combination can be found in a lot of the reference materials I mentioned earlier, and in general is a great musical technique when you want to write something fun that keeps the momentum going. The steel drums came in later, once I realized how ubiquitous they were in the style of music. I also added trumpets after listening more to different Pokemon soundtracks. They had a lot of color to the piece. Lastly, I wanted to add some kind of percussion, so tambourine and finally bongos came in to fill out our rhythm section and really capture the island sound. Pokemon Sun and Moon was instrumental for me as a sound guide here, and this piece ultimately became an exercise in writing Pokemon-style music. Now, once I was done writing the song and Muse score, it was time to move into Famitracker. You can check out links in the description for more information, but Famitracker is a tracker software that you can use to create authentic chiptune music. Basically, you make a spreadsheet, and that creates music. Neat, huh? Now, you are probably already familiar with this layout if you've watched July's video. And if you haven't, no offense, but why are you here? This is where the real challenge came in. How was I going to write a beach theme without any of the real-world instruments that people associate with it? The short answer? I cheated. The longer answer is that Famitracker has a very cool channel in it called DPCM, short for Differential Pulse Code Modulation. Go check it out on Wikipedia. I definitely couldn't do as good a job of explaining the technical aspects of it. But essentially, this channel lets us take compressed real-world audio samples and use them in our music by mapping them to different notes in the tracker. That's how I got sleigh bells in my January video, and that's how I was able to get some steel pan and bongo sounding percussion in this song. Other than that, it was a pretty straightforward process of transferring the music into Famitracker for MuseScore, and a lot of messing around with the instrument sounds to get it to where I wanted it. There's a lot of fun to be had in trackers with tweaking aspects of the instruments, such as volume, vibrato, and pitch, so it's definitely an iterative process. 
It's always most interesting to me to see how certain things I envisioned in the Muse score part of the process don't carry over as well. For example, I originally had planned on using 16th note offbeats to give it more of a laid-back swing feel, but they weren't clear enough in the tracker, so I switched to just regular offbeats. Now on the flip side, some things only emerge during the process of actually creating the chiptune. For example, the trumpet hits became these little fast arpeggios, which I liked because they sounded almost bubbly. And there you have it! That's how I went about writing a beach-inspired chiptune for my original July song. If you like this format, I'll try to continue doing these for the rest of the year, and maybe also try to include some more work-in-progress footage. Any questions that I didn't answer during this video? Any feedback you have for this format? Please leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons as well. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay tuned! Hello everyone! I'm Chipped Tunes, and today I'll be telling you... No. But essentially this channel lets us take compressed real-world audio samples and... Climate Tracker has a very cool channel in it called DPCM, short for Differential Pulse Code Modulation! <laughs> Fama Tracker has a very cool channel in it called DPCM, short for Differential Post. I can't say that.